What's happening to Watch Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. I've got a watch that I want to show you here. I'm really excited to check it out. It's actually uh, on loan to me from a buddy of mine, John, who owns this watch, and it's a fantastic watch. This is a, a very conservative, traditional-looking watch, and it is by Jaeger Lacout. Um, so it is, I believe it's called the Master, and it's an ultra-thin, as you can see here. It's only a 38-millimeter case, although some places I've seen it published as like 38.5 millimeters. So it's a rather small watch in terms of actual um, diameter, but also very, very thin. And as you can see here, you know, some really, uh, you know, uh, angled bezel here at the top and a very uh, kind of uh, shallow dish like backing on it. So it fits very nicely. You know, a very high end watch, a watch like this will set you back thousands of dollars. And, uh, you know, I'll also say, though, watch like this can get you into kind of the exclusive premier upper echelon of watch brands without necessarily mortgaging your house. As, uh, so it's pretty pretty straightforward design here. There's not a lot going on. It has a brushed silver-like dial. We have applied markers, these triangular-like markers at the hours. You can see we have a little dots at the minutes. We have um, arrow hands here that are uh, I think they're actually two-toned. So we have like a brushed half and then a polished half. So they're really, really pretty. We've got a couple of applied markers at the noon position here. And then you have an inset sub-dial that is ticking off the seconds. And as you can see there, it is a very smooth, wonderful, wonderfully smooth, very entrancing seconds hand. And Jaeger Lakuta are right up here with the uh, JC logo and you know pretty straightforward but you know like I said a very very classic design we have a polished bezel around the top uh, we have polished lugs here and a very curved very soft feeling very shaped uh, case here stainless steel and polished all the way around you can see here we have a little knurling on the crown and then again the Jaeger Lacoute um, uh, logo on the crown there and as you can see here it just pulls out and that's how we would adjust the time now let me go over to the back here because i want to show you that uh, let's take a look at the band here let's get that out of the way obviously a uh, alligator croc crocodile style leather it uh, says and this is the original band your Lakut there. What I've also seen here is that sometimes I've heard that uh, the bands themselves have a little bit of perfume to them. So I can't tell that on this one, but that may be the way that it comes. As you can see here, deployment clasp. Uh, actually, at first I thought that this deployment clasp had uh, buttons right on the side here. You can see how this, uh, this portion of the buckle splays out a little bit. So I thought maybe these were buttons to collapse it, but it's really just a friction um, deployment class so you can just kind of pull it out but as you can see then you get a traditional watch band look to it you can slide this under the retention slip there and it has a little bit of that standard watch band look and the Jaeger with the the D ring there but otherwise then you just pull everything apart to um, undo the watch and then the, the the deployment clasp just opens up like that right so pretty nice stainless steel there all polished really nice shape to it feels really nice and even though it's pretty thin and pretty light you know it is rock solid which is pretty awesome and you can adjust it here by just taking the pin out and then sliding it into the right the other holes here now uh, i want to talk about oh it says o or oh qg i thought it said og saying hey Jaeger Lacroote is the original gangsta, but it's not. That's not what it's saying at all. All right, so I know the band's going to get in the way here a little bit, but I want to show you the back here, the exhibition back. Uh, what's really interesting here is the the shape of the the case back. It's kind of bowed out a little bit like a uh, the bow of a boat, which is nice. It's got a really nice feel to it, obviously fully polished all the way around. We've got serial numbers and Swiss made. Uh, you can see it's held in place by four micro screws there. Um, sapphire, I'm, sh I'm sure, on the front. And I'm assuming maybe a sapphire on the back here too, but we can see the the Jaeger Lacoute um, master movement here. Beautiful. We've got a little perlage on everything. The rotor is obviously has a little like gold tone to it, which is nice. Uh, 32 joules. It says a thousand hours on that. 
I am assuming not a thousand hour power reserve, but I'm trying to figure out what uh, what that means. And just a, obviously beautiful movement. Now, this watch is pretty simple, so I don't know that I need to go into a lot of detail on it, but I'm really impressed by uh, obviously everything that Jaeger LeCoultre puts out. Their watches are great, you know, obviously very reliable. In fact, these movements, I think, hopefully I've got my information right, but I think uh, it has been a myth that they have uh, never produced movements for other companies. So in fact, Jaeger produced movements for Patek for a number of years when they were having some backlog problems, I believe. So some uh, Pateks have Jaeger movements. Uh, I also believe that Jaeger outsourced uh, movement design once. I can't remember from whom, but uh, they ended up customizing them for their case size. So kind of was, was it truly in-house? Kind of maybe a little bit fringy, but otherwise they produce their own movements. And so you get uh, a really beautiful you know, kind of unified watch that case movement design the whole thing is done in-house so uh, if that's something that's important to you you get that with it and then I also believe that what you'll see here is they don't say cost certified and that's because uh, Jaeger has their own timing and I think that's where the thousand hours comes in is that they do a thousand hour test on their watches before they go out and that's how they certify that they are plus minus the time range that they promise and that is actually more rigorous than the cost certification so that's why you don't have cost certified watches uh, there has been I believe an exception that they have put out some chronometers uh, with the cost certification but not necessarily recently so they did that at some point in the past but otherwise I believe the thousand hours is referencing to that this movement has been tested for a thousand hours and timed so really really beautiful um, I wish I could tell you more about it but this is just an exercise in beauty and simplicity and so you get a watch like this uh, very small um, or maybe I just call it slim uh, this watch is not sized for my wrist so I'm just gonna put it on here to kind of give you just generally a uh, a wrist look but just like that I mean this would work very well be a perfect watch for working uh, would slip under a sleeve without a problem and man it just has that classic timeless you know executive look pretty awesome I dig it uh, if you want to pick up uh, some really high-end premium watches check out my link in the description below and browse around there's a bunch out there that you can be had for good prices check it out Peter Von Pan out